Hello Balloon World, I'm your Balloon Twister Michael Floyd and today I want to teach you how to make a one balloon giraffe. This is one of the basic one balloon animals that everybody needs to learn because it'll save you when you're doing line and restaurant work and somebody asks you for a giraffe. Let me walk you through how we make it. Get your 260 of whatever color giraffe you want. I'll be using orange. If you are using orange, orange can be a difficult color to work with. So you're going to need to inflate it and let some air out to make sure it's soft. Inflate it all the way, but leave about a two or three inch tail. See, about that much. I'm going to let some air out to make sure it's soft. By making sure it's soft, I decrease the chance that it's going to pop on me. We're going to start with the nose of the giraffe. Twist two small half inch bubbles. They should be roughly about the same size. Now I'm going to hold those there. I'm going to take the slack and I'm going to go around. Oop, came in part on me. I'm going to hold those there. I'm going to twist them a couple of times. And then I'm going to take the slack. I'm going to feed it through the two right there. And that way the tension of wrapping the extra slack around will keep those in place so they don't come undone. Now I'm going to make sure that it's still soft by giving it a squeeze. I'm going to make the lower lip by making a small pinch twist. A small pinch twist is about a one inch bubble and I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to twist this section here into this section here by pulling the bubble out and twisting it. And there we have the nose and the lips of our giraffe. The next section is the head. We're going to want to twist a body section about two or three inches, about that long. Now comes the tricky part. We're going to make the horns. To do that, we're going to make a one inch bubble followed by a half inch bubble. Now we're going to do that again, but in reverse. Half inch bubble, one inch bubble. So these two here should be about the same size, and these two here should be about the same size. Now fold it over, and we're going to twist this section here into this section here. And there we have the horns of our giraffe. Now the neck is the long part of the giraffe, which is why I really like this design. You can see I'm almost out of space here. So what I like to do is I'll give the balloon a squeeze to where it fills up the entire balloon. And instead of working down to meet the end, I'm going to work the end back up. The reason I do this is because giraffes really don't have much of a tail, at least balloon animal giraffes don't. So I can twist a small bubble here just to lock in the legs together. And instead of having the excess be the tail, I can have the excess be in the neck. So the giraffe will have a longer neck. Now from the end, I'll twist two small legs. They should be about the same size. And I'm going to twist where we twisted that bubble here on the end into where we twisted that leg there. And there we have the hind legs. Now I'm going to twist a small section forward about the same length as the legs. That's going to be the body of our giraffe. Next, I'm going to twist the front legs. I like to make the front legs longer than the back legs. To do that, I'll fold the neck part down and twist to where the legs meet. And you can see how the body sort of angles up a little bit there. Measure that part there, and then that's how long my leg is going to be. Now I'm going to twist another section that same length. So these two here should be about the same size. Now I'm going to twist this section here into this section here. And I straighten him up. And there I have my one balloon giraffe. Another thing I like to do, I'll take the neck and I'll give it like a nice little bend. If your balloon is a little overinflated like mine is right now, you know, just give it a nice soft bend. You don't have to work on it too much, but it gives it a little bit more personality. So it's not like perfectly straight. No one has great posture, not even giraffes. Now we get to do our marker work. To draw the eyes, find the bubble between the horns and the nose. And about halfway up, draw a larger circle. And then inside that larger circle, draw a smaller circle. 
Now, the side that's not a circle, fill in. And there we have one eye. Now I do that again on the other side. Large circle. Make a smaller circle. Fill in the rest. And if it's anything like my marker now is, where it's sort of running out of ink, go ahead and do, go over it a couple of times. There we have our eyes. Now we can make some simple eyebrows. A little arch. And there we have our eyebrows. Now I know what you're saying. You're saying giraffes have spots. So to make a spot on the neck, if you want to go into that amount of detail, you can just basically draw a circle. And most people might try to color the whole thing in, but what I like to do is I'll just sort of like do a hash mark inside to sort of give the illusion that it's entirely filled in. So once again, you can draw a circle and sort of scribble inside and it sort of fills it in. And just alternate the pattern between the top and the bottom. So when you roll it a little bit, you can draw a circle about halfway between those and just sort of fill it in a little bit. And that's a quick way to make some giraffe spots down the neck of your giraffe. And there we have our one balloon giraffe, spots included. Once again, I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister. For more balloon animal instructions, go to balloon-animals.com.